It's time for our Seen and Unseen segment. We explore the cultural stories of the day. And for that, we turn to Fox News contributor Raymond Arroyo. All right, Raymond, some female abortion activists have started what they're calling is a sex strike movement. That is correct. They, they are refusing to have sex until abortion rights are enshrined federally in the law. So we took to the streets to get a common man's reaction. Do you think that's effective at all? I, I don't think so because I don't, not enough people are going to do it. I don't think that anybody's going to go on strike against sex because it feels so good and it's also a business. Everybody's always going to want to have sex. Sex strike? A sex strike. Um, I guess that's great for women who can choose not to have sex. I'm not sure how, I'm not sure if it's going to change much. What if we use our most powerful protesting option? and withhold sex from penises until this is made right. I think that's a horrible idea and that's not an effective way to handle abortion at all. I don't think that would be effective. I think it's going to be more aggressive than, than necessary. I think it's going to be a little bit backwards. And the sex strike protest probably won't work. I mean, I'd be willing to give it a shot if it would. Is that a good or effective approach? I would say I agree with it. Really? Mm -hmm. Now, do you agree with it? I don't really understand what a sex strike is, to be honest. A sex strike is where the girl would not have sex with you. Oh, um, I think it varies person by person, but yeah, that's a tough one. I notice he got very sober after that explanation. <laughs> not surprising. <laughs> Women in the world have conducted sex strikes in history. We have more power than we think we have. And some of it could be right in the bedroom. I think that women have the right to do with their bodies whatever they want to do. And so I support people in this movement. You think a sex strike is the way to go to awaken people's attention? I don't really have a comment on that. So you would be, you would be prepared to have your girlfriend or significant other go on a strike until abortion is legal national. See, I don't got no girlfriend, so I can't really say that, but um, I mean, again, if they want to do that, they want to live their life, and I love them, you know, I'm going to support them. Like, so you'd be willing to embrace celibacy? Yeah, bro, like, because I ain't going to lie, like... How long, though? How long? How long? See, so, see, I, so then, now, I don't know. I don't know. Disagree with the Roe v. Wade thing. You need to make a good decision on who you're going to have a child with, period. Like, 60% of the who's not our race are suffering from the abortion. We need to make better decisions. Our women need to make better decisions of who are ha they're having yeah. children with. Your reaction to the sex strike idea? You think that's effective? I think it can be. It's never really, I mean, like, but at the same time, like, are women really going to do that? Women been on strike. <laughs> They've been on strike. Most guys are Absolutely. not with anybody. So, I mean, what's the difference? What's that going to hurt us? <laughs> Laura, okay. the, the, I love him. I, I have to tell you, this was insightful for a couple of reasons. First of all, it's a clever protest because a sex strike removes the controversy entirely because There's you no don't abortion. need abortions, right? But it was sad what that gentleman yeah. pointed out the loneliness, the estrangement mm. that this recreational sex has created for this generation and the last couple. It, it, it's it's sad because without happy and loving couples, mm. you can't have happy and loving families. So that was that, that was guy was awesome. I was oh, waiting. Yeah. I I said to Raymond during the break, him in. I said, is there any conservative in New York at all? He's like, wait, that's the end of the Coming day. up. And Laura, in the heat of this abortion battle, inexplicably, Nancy Pelosi attended a papal mass at the Vatican today. The speaker has been forbidden from presenting herself to, for communion in her home diocese of San Francisco due to her advocacy for abortion. Still, there she was today, glad-handing with the Pope and taking communion. You know, Laura, I, I got to tell you. My phone blew up when people saw this. What we do is as important as what we say. And the Pope says the liturgy should be a source of unity, a way to protect our communion. I don't know how this image does that. In fact, I think it estranges people from whatever Catholic doctrine or belief might be. Um, and Pelosi was not the only public figure seeking cover this week. That's right. The creator of one of the most popular TV shows of all time, Friends, Marta Kaufman, for years brushed off complaints that the show was not diverse enough. But now she's come to a new understanding. Now, in an interview, Kaufman says it is her internalized systemic racism that caused the lack of inclusivity on the very popular show. Here she is discussing the problem. It was, to a certain extent, a product of the time period and of my own ignorance. You know, there were black shows and there were white shows. There weren't a lot of shows that were interracial. I guess at the time, 
I was thinking, this is what I know. This is what I know. In expiation for her insensitivity, Laura, over the show she created 28 years ago, Kaufman's donating $4 million to Brandeis University to fund a professorship in African and Amer African American studies. I know this story has you amped. You were a big Friends fan. Well, here's what I don't like is going back and like you go back in time and say, no, this doesn't count. This was bad. This, uh, it was a different, it was a different time. A different but era. she feels the need to publicly, you know, self-flagellate. Mm -hmm. And how much she make on Friends? Hundreds of millions of dollars. Right? And syndication. I mean, remember, I the, remember they imagine. got their last contract, all the uh, Aniston and, and all. A million this a pop. A million for each episode. So yeah. if they're really serious about this, you got to go more than the four mil. That's well, not well, enough. Well, my, look, she can spend her money any way she wants. My question is, if you want to help the black community, why are you giving four million dollars yeah. to Brandeis? Brandeis? Go help the black community. There are tons of great yeah. faith-based to Mario Davis's program that actually right. mentor young black people. All right, Ra Raymond, we got to go. They're yelling yeah. at me. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.